Back in June of 2021, Volvo unveiled the concept for the future of its fleet. Having announced a plan to become a fully electric car company by 2030, the automaker demonstrated the concept for the dedicated ground-up design EV platform on which those vehicles will be based. The first of which is due to be unveiled later this year. And at CES, Volvo reiterated that while the company is shifting from internal combustion fueled vehicles to electron powered ones, one thing hasn't changed. It's a commitment to safety. Volvo, for those who don't know, have been quietly responsible for many safety innovations in modern vehicles. There's obviously Volvo's invention of the three point safety belt, which we all take for granted, but from rear facing child seats and integrated booster seats to side impact beams and side curtain airbags, Volvo has long been first to implement or invent safety features, all in the pursuit of a vision of zero deaths or injuries in a new Volvo. And in its keynote address, what Volvo placed front and center was not its shiny concept car, although it formed part of the presentation. Instead, Volvo gave over the majority of its presentation to Luminar and Zensact and the group's combined target of zero collisions. Starting off with the disappointing statistic that despite increasing technological advancements to improve vehicle safety, we won't talk here about the increasing size of vehicles and the rise of the SUV. Best not, eh? Worldwide, each year 1.3 million lives are lost and there are around 50 million injuries due to traffic collisions. And in the US in 2021, traffic collisions increased 18%. So what Luminar and Zensact bring to Volvo's table is a route to what together they call the uncrashable car. So perhaps the first question is, who are Luminar and Zensact? Luminar bring compact LiDAR technology to the table and Zensact bring infrastructure and safety verification to autonomous driving to paint them both with very broad brushes. LiDAR, I hear you cry, but everyone's abandoning LiDAR. And yes, unlike some automakers who've abandoned LiDAR as being too expensive and unreliable, or a crutch, as I'm sure someone once said, Volvo has worked with Luminar to reduce the price to around $1,000 per unit and the size to something that, to me, is reminiscent of a black cab's taxi sign. That Luminar Iris LiDAR unit will be included as standard on the upcoming Volvo fully electric SUV slated to replace the XC90. The vehicle, when it hits the road, will feature LiDAR in addition to the standard collection of, in this case, five radars, eight cameras, and 16 ultrasonic sensors. And for drivers initially in California, but later rolled out to other markets, the car will be available with an optional subscription for something that Volvo calls Ride Pilot. This driver assistance stroke autonomous driving package includes three levels, drive, cruise and ride. It's currently undergoing testing in Sweden and Volvo plans to start testing later this year in California where, quote, the climate, traffic conditions and regulatory framework provide a favorable environment for the introduction of autonomous driving. And Volvo stated that once it meets regulatory requirements and has deemed the system safe to use, it will be rolled out again initially in California, but later to customers in other areas. Those three settings provide differing levels of assistance or autonomy. In drive, the vehicle will provide the usual suite of advanced driver assistance and safety features that drivers of modern vehicles have come to expect. In cruise, the driver is required to supervise driving, but the vehicle, as we've seen with FSD Beta, Blue Cruise and Super Cruise, should be able to handle many of the more humdrum driver situations without significant input. But in ride, the vehicle will operate autonomously in a hands-off, eyes-off manner. Volvo indicated that unlike any system currently available for consumer vehicles, when in ride, Volvo would take responsibility for the vehicle and the formerly driver, now passenger, could read or use their phone and not need to be ready to take over at a moment's notice. So you can finally use your commute to catch up on all that exciting office email. Volvo said the system is intended for use on highways, although whether that's dependent on high resolution mapping as for Blue Cruise and Super Cruise wasn't indicated. However, what Volvo did indicate is that unlike many systems which currently really just use LiDAR for lane positioning, the Zensact stroke Luminar system is being used to identify things like, say, people. 
in the distance. The example given was folks moving around a broken down car at the side of the road and Volvo Systems would automatically perform a lane change where it's safe to do so to ensure that the vehicle doesn't get too close. Luminar also included in the announcement that it has developed a 3-iris LiDAR sensor-based system which can be used to provide the same kind of autonomy to trucks in a system that it's calling Blade. That is similarly going into production this year. It will be fascinating to see how these different systems compare as we move closer to autonomous driving and after countless CESs where multiple companies claimed to have level 5 autonomous vehicles just about to come out it's refreshing that Volvo has been much more specific about its claims and we're excited to see how this system performs in those boring bits of commute on the freeway. That's it for this update. Keep that notification bell tapped to keep up to date with our CES coverage because we'll be back with more soon.